this is Randy Thompson coming to you live with Trudy Adams. We're continuing with the walk here, and we're actually cooling out, a mind walk, but because Melody's a little hot and nervous, or influenced, that's the way she is, we have to keep her a little bit more focused for the rider's safety, and just because it's it's a better place to be with a horse that, that has a tendency to lose their attention. Good. So every time you feel her lose her focus, you just change change directions and praise her and keep a light feel on both sides of her mouth. Just a light feel. Point your belly button in the direction that you want to go. Good. That's it. Good, let's do a spiral at the walk. Again, we're not asking for anything other than for her to stay connected with you. That's it. And, and we're not asking her to, to drop her nose or anything from the rain. Right now, we're still cooling her off from when she warmed up. Good. Bring her shoulder over. Yep, as soon as you feel that, change directions. Because it's that time of the year for the mockingbirds to come out again. That's it. Lots of changes of direction. Slow down your seat a little bit. Slow her down. You feel she's taking you just a little bit. That's when you have permission to shorten your outside rein just a little. Praise her. Yep. Slow down the front end until you feel her shoulder come up now. Good. Especially your outside rein. Yep. It's the outside rein that'll slow it. Praise her. Good, so now you're gonna feel, can you use your outside rein to keep her in her body a little bit more? Nice release, Trudy. Good. The one she bobs it? Yeah, I mean, yeah, she's trying to swing her head out to the outside. So I have to take yes. Well, she's, she is trying to swing her head different ways, but remember, this is like the fourth time where we've asked her to stay connected from your leg to the rein. So she's going to lose it a lot. It's new to her. She's still learning how to stay connected like this. This is actually pretty nice how, fat, how much she's come back. Because you've ridden her like six times since winter started. And uh, usually when she starts looking at mockingbirds, it's hard to get her focus back. This is nice. Shorten your outside rein. Slow down the front end. Just until you feel her shoulder rise up. Right there. Feel it? Now ask her to stay in that balance. That's right, and you hold and soften. Good, good. Good. Shorten your outside rein so she stays with her shoulder up from your leg. And remember, you're going to use your inside leg and rein now when the inside hind is off the ground. Now, now, now. Yep, add a little more outside rein. Now, now. Good. Slow down the outside rein so she picks you up a little bit more. Good. Good. Right there. Praise her. And you did the right thing. You put her underneath of you and then you release the rein. That's her reward. Because she won't be able to hold it that long. This is so new to her to stay connected like this. So if she'll give you one step, it's a gift. Praise her. Nice and easy. Now watch it because she'll get you, she'll trick you into starting to lean on the reins a little bit. So when you feel that, that's just a reminder that you've got to ride her more with your seat and legs. Give more with the reins because you know you cannot outpull her. So you put her back underneath of your seat so she's under your body. Then give her maybe a quarter, half an inch of rein, whatever it takes where she doesn't disconnect. Good. That's it. Take your time because she's going to drop it every four steps, I promise you. As she should be doing for where she is with this connection. Good. Take your time. Keep her, yep, keep her under your seat. Good, Trudy. Keep her under your seat. And now you're just going to focus on that nice, even feel you have with the reins. Feel when she disconnects. Slow down the front end with the outside rein and leg. Yep. Get her to step up into the right rein. Praise her. Good. Then let her flow a little bit. She'll disconnect right away. You can either ask her to step into that rein or the opposite rein from your in, your leg. So outside leg would be now. Now get her to step up more into your outside rein and praise her. Good. That's it. 
Bring your lower leg forward. Yeah, I felt it drifting back. Your leg was slowly sliding back. Good, because our whole goal is to teach you to stay under your seat now. Good. All right, let's move this up into a trot now. You're going to see if you can keep her under your seat at the trot. Good. That's it. Play with the same feeling. If her head comes up, you shorten your outside rein, start a curve if you'd like to do that. Get her to step up from your outside leg to the outside rein and praise her. And of course, give her a mini stretch. That's right. And it's not going to be perfect because this is like the fourth time in her life she's ever stayed connected. Good. Praise her. Yep, she's starting to like connection. You know, it's taken a while because she was not comfortable with any kind of a connection at first. But now she's starting to realize it's a safe place to be. It's taken us three or four years to get Melody to this point because she had some issues to work through. So we're, very, we're thrilled to see her come to this point. Slow down the outside rein, get her to step up into it with your outside leg. More, praise her. Good. Yep, whenever she disconnects, slow down on the outside rein and leg, ask her to connect with you and praise her. Good, praise her. That's right, that's right. So you'll be doing half halts like you're going to feel you need to do one right here. So do a half halt, put her back under your seat. That's all right, ask for a little bit more because she's not sure where to be right now. You could feel she didn't come totally back. Well, that's all right. That's what she should be doing right now. So when you slow her down for your half halt, you're not really slowing her down. You're going to slow down the front end until she picks you up. There, right there. Did you feel her pick you up? We don't care if she broke into a walk. Good, good. You asked for it. Notice the difference in her walk now. Better that than bolting off. I know. And she has a history of doing that. Good. That's right. Watch your inside rain. That's right. If your inside rein gets tight, it's because you're not, you need to use a little more inside leg. That's it. And it's just for the moment. As soon as she responds to anything, you get lighter. Good. Let's do some transitions. That's it. Take your time. Take your time. Praise her. Good, Trudy. That's right. Good. Look at how nice and loose her neck is. Better than any in that little down transition. Yes. Take your time, keep her loose. Good. Oh, yes. What she's saying is it was just a little bit, but in the past it was a lot. A melody would throw her head completely up, but as I said, it took us years to get to this point where she, Melody would accept the contact from the leg. Very nice. Praise her. Good. And any horse that's learning how to do this, they'll bop their head up or down or do other things with it because, you know, green horses or whatever, if they're not used to the rider riding them from their seat and legs into the rain, they really don't know how to respond. Good. Take your time. As long as she'll just um, half halt. That's right. So she's just saying that she's just happy when she gives because this is this is really big with this horse good praise her very nice very nice okay let's give her a walk break so she can just clear her head for a little bit i don't know i just tell you what i feel but with her it's i work so hard on trying to keep her more relaxed and focused on me and i know sometimes it doesn't look great or the pole is in the wrong place but if she's this is the best she's ever looked trudy she's she staying can. more connector all the time yeah. she's never last year we couldn't connect her like this well and we had her in all we did everybody we had her in really crazy bits but we were trying everything we could to try just to, to be safe her. yeah because she was pretty unsafe those first couple years and now That's right. Yeah, so on our progress with Melody, she was, when I first met her, it was three or four years ago we started working with her. Do you remember? About four years 
four years ago, she was pretty frantic. In fact, she was dangerous. So uh, we couldn't ride her in the snaffle. She wasn't safe. So we've gone through different bits, and as you can see, we've gotten her back to where she's in a snaffle and going softly. She's a different horse. Trudy's done a great job with her.